Hi, I'm Trevor Blumenau. I just want to talk to you today about uh, the security of our system and how we've designed our system to be very, very secure. Um, I've mentioned in previous videos that we use a three-tiered architecture. So remember the three tiers of our architecture. The first tier is our server. The second tier is our turbo. And the third tier, obviously, are the devices themselves. Our server uh, is built with the absolute state-of-the-art modern Linux operating systems. Uh, these systems have been battle-tested on the internet, subjected to all sorts of uh, penetration tests. Uh, it's been years and years in the making to make these systems, uh, I, I mean, I, I would call them bulletproof at this point. They really are very, very strong in terms of their protection that they're going to provide uh, for you for your data. The interaction with that server is using the standard state-of-the-art HTTPS protocol that has become ubiquitous. All of our banking, everything is done using the same HTTPS protocol. All of your interactions with the server when you log in, when you're looking at the contents of devices, uh, all of that stuff when you are interacting with the server through your REST API or your query string API, all of that is secured using HTTPS protocol and obviously with a username and password. Now, um, between the server and the turbo is another communication channel there and that is also entirely HTTPS governed with a username and password. So that is just as secure uh, um, as any banking transaction anywhere in the world today. The one area I think that you are right to focus on is the security between the turbo, here's a turbo, and the device itself. This is the wireless protocol between these two devices. And that is uh, perhaps uh, of biggest concern. We use Bluetooth radios to communicate between the turbo and our devices. But we do not use the Bluetooth protocol because we feel that the Bluetooth protocol is still a very young protocol and uh, people are still finding security problems in that protocol. So what we've done is we've actually used our own protocol uh, to communicate between the turbo and our devices. Now that does not mean we've invented our own security. We would never do such a thing. We using the state of the art AES-128 encryption to encrypt the communication between the turbo and the device. That's very important to say. We, and we don't even write the algorithms. We, have, uh, we take proven bulletproof algorithms and use those predetermined algorithms to control the security between these devices. It's very important. We're not going to write our own version of AES-128. That would not be secure. The one place, well, uh, let me also say that but from the server all the way to the device, your encryption, your uh, communication is going to be secure. So in other words, uh, if you uh, interact with our server using your REST API, you send a command uh, for, uh, let's say, to pick a particular item or maybe it's some patient information, something that's private uh, that you submit through the REST API, that information is going to be encrypted at the server using an individual key that's only known to this device. Uh, that packet of information will transit through the turbo without the turbo being able to decrypt that information. And only when it gets to the correct device that you own will, it be able to, will that device be able to decrypt and then display that message. Not, not only talking about commands that you send to the device, but also static information that you may put on the device between picks. All of that information is secure. There is some insecure information which unfortunately is unavoidable. Uh, that information is the device ID and some of the uh, state information of the device. For example, its voltage and what message it received, that kind of thing. Well, the, the message identifier, not the content of the message. So those little things, uh, it's unavoidable for us to 
uh, have a device that operates wirelessly without having some sort of um, wireless information that is being broadcast out over the airwaves that potentially uh, only a very uh, uh, um, well-prepared hacker might be able to get a very small piece of information out of. But I want you to rest assured that we have used state-of-the-art security throughout our entire system uh, to protect your data.